What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and here we go, our 2020 update for you. It's just me today, just gonna break down everything that we've got planned for you. And right off the bat, as Mr. Miyagi would say, Balance is key, balance good, karate good, everything good, balance bad, better pack up your home. We're all going to focus on balance. Balance between work, family, balance between YouTube, Patreon, Twitch, hopefully the podcast, all kinds of stuff going on. Balance, balance, balance. That is really going to be the key to my, for me personally, 2020 and for all of us, really balance is so important and really that's going to be our focus. All of the things I mentioned are all very important keys to our success here in this digital crazy world that we're playing in. I've talked about it before and I'm I'm even a bigger believer of it today. You know, you never could put your eggs in one basket. YouTube is doing a lot of really interesting things, interesting good, interesting bad, regardless of what your opinion is. It, it, it's not some place if you really want to thrive, you really want to grow, you really want to develop this presence on the internet, which is what we're building. Like, I, I, I want to be honest about it. We're really trying to build something. I've got really cool goals trying to expand this stuff and putting all our eggs in one basket is just not, you know, it just doesn't make sense, especially with how, how fickle YouTube could be, especially with all this new stuff that's coming out with, with all the new things that were announced. And you know, that doesn't mean anything about us stopping YouTube. We're not going to, until we're told to stop, we're not going to stop doing YouTube. So don't freak out. Don't get all nervous. Don't, don't get all like, oh my God, they're going to stop. Like, no, we're still doing reaction videos. We're still doing probably more stuff to be honest. Um, but it's going to be balanced. I'm going to say that word probably a lot. It's going to be balanced. You know, we obviously had some setbacks the last couple months with the schedule. The plan was to have Better Call Saul done before the new year. Didn't happen. It's the way it goes. Life happens. Life hits you hard sometimes. And, you know, January is mostly going to be focused on getting caught up and finished with Saul. And then we'll be finishing the, the, the first half of the final season of Vikings will also be done this month. That's going to be the primary focus for this month, getting things organized and prepared. Really like our new year is probably going to like really kick off in February just because of the way the schedule has shifted a little bit. But the plan right now is to start a new show later this month. There won't be a vote for this one. I know we're going to kind of change things up a little bit, but we have a show in mind that we want to watch. And trust me, you're not going to be disappointed. And we'll announce that really soon, maybe with like a trailer reaction or maybe just an announcement video. Who knows? Um, yeah, I think that's going to be the way it goes. Maybe we'll just watch the trailer and we'll let you know that way. So new show coming soon, probably in a few weeks. Based off the schedule I have currently crafted and again, that... That changes because of life. Life gets in the way sometimes. And there are priorities in our lives between our kids and careers and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, as of right now, the plan is to be done with Saul somewhere in like mid to late January. And then Vikings is on the schedule that it's on every Wednesday night that airs. And usually those get out either Thursday or Friday based off of my work schedule. You know, one of the, one of the major parts of this maybe new kind of strategy that we're going to be playing with, at least for the first half of this year, there will be less reaction videos per week, strictly because I need to be more present with my family. I spend way too much time editing videos and my kids are getting older, you know, and I want to be present with them doing all the stuff that they're doing. I can't be spending every single waking hour that I'm home editing and editing takes a lot of time. It really does. And, you know, I spend a lot of time at work, obviously, because I do have a career outside of YouTube and everything else that we do. And, you know, me and Nikki, we, we need time together too. Um, if you've been following us on our Instagram, we've been having a lot of fun lately and it, it's so important. It just makes me want to do this work more by not missing out on opportunities with my kids and my wife and my parents and my family. Um, so there will be a little bit of a cutback in terms of how many videos that we do a week in terms of reactions, but there's, there's a bigger plan and strategy behind that outside of just slowing things down so I could do more stuff with my family. I want us to be more in the moment. There were a couple different times last year where we had our schedule crafted out and then out of nowhere, something like Chernobyl showed up. We decided to jam that into our schedule and it was just insanity. Things were just out of control. I think we were doing like four shows at once with still three episodes of the premium show and then like all these other shows that we were doing. And it was just too much to be honest. And with this more flexible schedule, when a show like Chernobyl pops up or when something like, I don't know, Cobra Kai kind of 
was like, oh, hey, by the way, the show is releasing in two weeks. Like, oh, okay, well, we weren't prepared for that. So it'll give us more flexibility for things that come out of nowhere that are massive hits and need to be watched. Being in the moment, I feel like is really important. And I, I, I just value that so much right now with all the really great shows and content that's being created. I mean, honestly, the focus really does need to be this long run. We, we don't want this to be a short run. And I feel like with the amount, I mean, just look at the, look at the end of your video, the rewind that, that we published. And I edited that thing. It took a long time and it took a long time because of how much we did. Like we did a shit ton of shows last year and there were a lot of episodes in those shows and a lot. Like I want this, I don't want to spend one more year doing this. I want to spend five more years doing this. I want this to be a long run. I don't want this to be like a short, like, oh, hey, you remember two years ago, Nikki and Steve? Like, you remember that? Like, I don't want that to be the case. I want us to be able to drag this thing out. I want to be able to do this for a long time. And I don't want to burn out. I don't like editing, like the, doing the reactions is fine. It's the editing. I don't want to burn out on the editing. It is, I put so much time and effort and focus into making those videos the way they are for you guys that I don't want to burn out on it. And I feel like if I stuck to the schedule that we had last year, the burnout would absolutely come. So there's a bunch of things that are going into that new strategy. The idea of being flexible, not burning out, being more balanced with all the other stuff that we're doing. And speaking of that, like obviously we have the Twitch channel. That has been such a great platform for growth and for us as a digital couple, you know, like couple, digital couple, you like that, um, that it's really such a great supplement to the YouTube channel. And again, another piece of the puzzle to ultimately f hitting this goal that I have in my brain. I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but I set really huge goals and I thrive to do really big things. And, you know, I'm going to try to crush those goals and Twitch and YouTube combined are, it's, it's the realization that we're in right now. Those are both very important. The Twitch thing, I found a newfound love for video games. I grew up on video games and I took a long time off, like six or seven years from games because like family took priority and we had kids and all that stuff happened and video games just disappeared. And now that I'm back playing games, like that is a major, major passion of mine. I've had it since I was little. So Twitch and YouTube are both very much in the game. And, you know, we have a Patreon as well. If you didn't know, there's always a link down below to that. And I want to provide a couple more new perks for that as well. And that'll, there'll be a specific Patreon video that we'll post in regards to whatever updates we're doing there. But I want to be able to expand that a little bit. Not anything crazy, just a little bit. So in addition to that, I want to also try to bring the podcast back, whether it's two, three, four times a month. I just want to get it in there because again, it's something that I really enjoy doing. I love having those conversations with Nikki, whether it's me and Nikki together, whether it's just me, like I did the two Rise of Skywalker reviews and recaps, whether it's me, Nikki, and a guest, or me and a guest, or Nikki and a guest, who knows? The potential for that is is really just unlimited because of the options that we have. And if you can't tell, I love talking about the things that I'm passionate about. I love to talk. I love to have conversations. I love to debate. I love to discuss things. So yeah, the podcast is absolutely something that is also in play. So between the YouTube channel, which is never going to go away, that that is always going to be the bread and butter. The success and the community that has been built over there, the sticker fam is absolutely amazing. Without that, we aren't able to do anything else. We aren't even able to have this crazy goal in my brain about what I want to do on, on digital platforms. And the YouTube channel is, is really the core of that. It's the heart that beats and runs everything. It is so important and so vital to everything that we do. But outside of that, we've got the Twitch channel. We've got Patreon. We want to do the podcast a little bit more. But that's really the update. I think that's everything. I don't think I missed on anything. Um, like I mentioned, just kind of a quick recap. We're going to be finishing a Better Call Saul and Vikings this month. In, in a couple weeks, we'll announce our new show. We've got one in mind. You won't be disappointed, like I mentioned before. I promise you that. There's going to be less reaction videos a week just to save me from burning out on doing these videos. Longevity, flexibility, balance, those are all going to be the keys to our... And we'll see how it goes. If it doesn't work... I'm, I'm very accepting to making mistakes and admitting that things were wrong and we'll adjust when we need to, if we need to, and, and we'll just see how it goes. But I really believe in my brain that being more flexible, 
being more in the moment, having more balance across everything that we're doing is really going to be key because it's going to make me more energetic. It's going to make me personally way more excited for doing things. I'm not going to get burnt out on all the editing and all that stuff. So I think that is everything. I, I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned everything that I wanted to. I got my notes in front of me so I didn't miss anything. And it looks like, yeah, we're good. So if you have any questions, you can leave them down below. I will absolutely jump in there and answer any questions that you might have. Again, don't think that we're going anywhere. We're not leaving the platform. We're not disappearing. We're going to continue to do reaction videos. We're just going to kind of shift our focus a little bit in terms of how we do the reaction videos and how many that we do just so that we can make this along and make the end game way down the road and not in six months, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, leave any comments that you have, leave any questions you have. I will absolutely answer any that I can. And I hope y'all are doing great. I hope your 2020 is off to a strong start. If not, pick yourself up, crush your goals, set them high, go after them and, and just go crush it just crush it. And again, we'll see you guys later. So this video should be up on Monday, which means the next video that comes out will be the next Better Call Saul. And they'll be, we're not shifting our schedule until Saul's done. Just so you know, we're going to stick to our three episodes of Saul and episode of Vikings. And then we'll close that out. We'll probably announce the new show in a couple weeks, maybe next week, maybe this week, who knows, whenever we're ready to announce it, we'll let y'all know. And I hope y'all doing great. Leave them comments, leave them questions, and we'll see y'all later. I hope you have a good one. Love y'all. Bye.